Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Michael Davis. I'm with the uh, Campus Technology Services Department here at NASA. Um, we're located in the MC building on the second floor. Okay. Um, this covers United States technology. This covers uh, AV. It, can, it also covers uh, the computer technology in the classrooms and also involves uh, printing as well. And I want to speak more about that um, right here. But first, what I'm going to do is I just want to uh, show you our website and, tell you, and show you some of the resources that we have there. Now, basically, what we do is we manage the technology in your rooms. So if you're teaching in a particular classroom and you're having any issues with the technology, whether it's the computer, uh, the switching equipment, or the projector, anything there, just go ahead and either give us a call or fill out a trouble ticket, which I'm going to show you right now. Can everyone see that? I'm pointing to online trouble ticket. Okay. Just go ahead and click on that. Okay. Then what you can do is go ahead and fill out the simple form and you just tell us what the, uh, what the issue is. Okay. Now, it's it's better if you actually fill out this form rather than call us. You can do either one. But if you fill out this form, this form is automatically emailed to us. And the thing is, we can then determine which, which resources we need in order to, uh, to route to that particular uh, classroom or particular place, what uh, resources we need to bring to fix the problem. So we very much appreciate if you, uh, if you use the trouble ticketing system. Back there. Now, also, I want to uh, speak a little about is uh, the technology request form. Now, also, if you have any particular technology that you want to install in any particular classroom, like say, for instance, a projector or uh, or just some other uh, aspect, some technological aspect to the room, just go ahead and fill this out. Or if you need a particular software package installed, like say, in the classroom. Um, like on the photo computer or in the computer classroom on all the computers there. So definitely we'll just go ahead and fill out this form. Very simple form. First name, last name, and then the really random measure. We get that and then we take it from there. Yeah, it is pretty much it for technology. Um, if you're having any issues or anything installed, then uh, give us a call or but we'd really like to use that form. Right, thank you. And I also want to speak a little about uh, printing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the main page here. Okay, yeah. page, I'm going to go to the call services and I'm going to go out to printing and mail services right here. Okay, and there we are right there. But also, I just want to point out is the lead times that the print and mail staff need in order to prepare their jobs. So say for instance, most of the print staff are gone by 4.30. So if you submit a print job, and usually we take about 20 bucks to do, if you submit, say, on a Monday at 5 p.m., they won't see it until the very next day in the morning. And so that's when really the job, that's when the job has got to start. And then also, like say on Friday afternoon, Submit a job, say like at five o'clock. They won't see it until Monday morning. So I just wanted to make that clear. So um, please go to this slide and read the lead times for when a uh, job can be um, handled and when they are going to be prepared, especially if they're going to be sent to you. Please note this. Please read this. Or any other questions about uh, trouble tickets or any forms or okay. Uh, so again, my name is Michael Davis, um, and our IT department covers all things technology. I also want to mention one more thing, and this I'll end with this: like if you're having any issues with your uh, your personal accounts, your district accounts, like say your district email, we do not have the authority to make any changes there. You would have to call seven thousand. Everyone familiar with that six one nine? Yes. If you're having issues with your accounts. Please call that number. They're the only ones who would be able to uh, make any change. Like, say, for instance, if you're having issues with your password or just access in general, because it has changed here. And is, everyone is aware that we are actually using authentication in order to get into your accounts. Yes. Yes. Okay, briefly, I'll say this. Um, the, uh, the infrastructure regarding email has changed. So the thing is, in order to log into your accounts, you will have to use like your 
phone or your tablet and then authenticate there before you are allowed inside your account, inside your email. Okay, and if you still haven't set that up, please give uh, uh, the folks at District IP a call at 7,000. You're the only ones who can manage your account. So if you're having issues like that, you call us. We're just going to route you there. Okay. And uh, that's it. Any questions? Okay, thank you.